Okay, this video is how to multiply using the x game. You don't have to use this method. You can use whatever method you want. Um, as long as it's mathematical sound and you're not breaking any math laws. And of course, that it's right, which it should be if it's mathematical sound. And remember, you want everything in completely factored form, which means you want to uh, factor out any common factors. Um, and that everything just must, all the terms must be multiplied by each other. There cannot be any terms that are added or subtracted overall. Okay, they can within each binomial, but not, you know, it should be like a binomial times a binomial and then maybe times something else. Um, but that might be a little much to think about right now. But a quadratic can be written as the product of two binomials. And we found that whenever we would FOIL something out. And hopefully, if you recollect back to FOILing, it was the first two values multiplied together to give you that x squared term. And so this very uh, first example is going to be the easiest case when a is 1, when the coefficient of x squared is 1. So you have to think of this must be 1x times 1x. Well, that's easy. And then what you might have realized was the outside and the inside multiplied together. Um, you do the outside plus the inside one. Both had a coefficient of x, and so they must add together to give you this middle term. And lastly, uh, the two constants multiplied together must give you the constant. Okay, so all the x game is like an organizational tool. Um, you do, ha do not have to use it if you don't want to. So what we do is we draw an x, and x means multiply, okay? So what we're saying is we're trying to find these two numbers. And if I multiply this value by this value, um, I will get the 12. So that's what goes right here because it follows the big x for multiply. If I multiply the two values together that come in the binomial, I should get 12. Okay, but we also said that we know that when those multi numbers are multiplied by x, um, that they add together to give us negative 8. So sometimes I'll put a little plus sign right here. Um, these are our knowns right here. So they're going to add together to give us negative 8. And these, and these little sections right here, these are what we're trying to find. These are missing values right here. Okay, these are the, the extra, um, the terms in each one of our binomials. Okay, so what we're doing is we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give us 12, but add together to give us negative 8. And so that should be negative 6 and negative 2. Okay, and so that should be, this just carries the sign, x minus 6, x minus 2. And you should be able to confirm that by foiling this out. So let's do that real quick. First would be x times x is x squared. Outsides is negative 2x. Insides is negative 6x. And last is plus 12, which indeed gives us x squared minus 8x plus 12. So just to verify, the x means multiply. And your last coefficient goes here, or your last term, excuse me, goes here, the constant term. And this is like an 8x right here, so this will give you your 6x, or 6, excuse me, I just erased that prematurely. <laughs> this will give you negative 6 and negative 2 add together to give you negative 8, but they multiply together to give you positive 12. 